So good morning Mr. Xiao. So I am GM Ayrton from the B section um, BSMT1. So this video is my explanation about my answer of the CO3 assessment. So in the task 1, explain how the Philippines implement OSAS in improving the countrymen's welfare, uh, specifically seafarers, uh, safety and pursuant to articles 5 and 1 to 8 of the Labor Code of the Philippines as amended and then the compliance with department order uh, numbers 129 and 130 series of 2013 and Maritime Labor Convention 2006. So my answer is the pursuant of the article 5 and 28 of the Labor Code of the Philippines as amended and in compliance with department order of numbers 129 and 130 series of 2013 and Maritime Labor uh, Convention 2006. The following guidelines are hereby issued to ensure the safety and welfare of seafarers on board Philippine uh, registered ships. So this guideline shall apply to all Philippine registered ships applying both domestic and international international uh, voyage where employer employee relationship or other forms of engagement uh, exist so excluded from the coverage are the following categories of a ship uh, warships and naval uh, auxiliaries government ships not engaged in commercial operation and fishing vessels uh, this guidelines aims to promote health and safety protection and prevention of accidents, injuries, diseases, or deaths occurring in the course of employment of seafarers on board ships through compliance with mandatory rules and regulations and standards for the maritime six, uh, sector. So, in a task to explain the requirements of DOLE. Department order order of one three two series of twenty thirteen uh, guidelines on the maritime occupational safety and health uh, and how is it implemented on board ship regards to the occupational safety and health policy program with regards of, to the following uh, so two point one hazard pre uh, prevention program so the ship owners shall in consultation with the safety and health committee develop implement and monitor a program for the prevention of hazards including uh, ergonomic related hazards in the workplace uh, that is appropriate to the size of the ship and the nature of the hazards uh, b conduct hazard risk evaluation and control including measures to reduce and prevent risk of exposure to the harmful uh, chemicals and physical hazards such as heat, uh, heat noise and vibration as well as the risk of the injury or disease that may arise from the use of equipment and machinery on board ships and literacy the last institute measures to monitor environment safe work procedures machine or equipment safety maintenance materials handling and the use of appropriate personal protective equipment or the ppe so the 2.2 work uh, environment conditions so the ship owner shall ex exert ex uh, effort to maintain and control the working and living environment in comfortable health conditions a healthy conditions for the purpose of promoting and maintaining the health of the seafarers so we must do ventilation so in the ventilation the ship owner shall ensure that suitable atmospheric condition shall be maintained in work rooms with machineries and other accommodation uh, accommodation spaces by either natural or, or artificial means to avoid insufficient air supply and accumulation of contaminated air and letter b the last is excessive heat or cold sudden variations in temperature 
excessive humidity or dryness of or objectionable odors shall be controlled for the prote protection of the seafarers from the adverse effects uh, effects of the hazards or uh, of these hazards and the 2.3 the occupational health program so occupational health program or op ohp aims to prevent accidents illness or deaths and to promote the health or of seafarers so the ohp shall comply with the requirement of medication examinations medical examinations of the department of health for seafarers and provide other preventive health services such as immun uh, immunizations health awareness campaigns uh, health programs addressing physical and mental fatigue and the like uh, dole insurance on the prevention and control of hiv or age uh, hepatitis b tuberculosis and the effects of the drug and alcohol uh, alcohol dependency so in a top point for the crew uh, accommodation so the requirements of the guidelines on accommodation and recreational pa facilities shall apply to ship uh, construct constructed on or after the date when MLC um, 2006 comes into force. Uh, for ships constructed before said date, uh, the requirements of the uh, accommodation, accommodations of crews convention number 92 and its uh, supplementary provisions number 133, the existing standards on safety and health from the maritime international conventions pmmrr uh, solas and ism code shall continue to apply the extent to the extent that they applicable and the last is the 2.5 the health and safety organization and the ship owner work uh, accident and illness report so every ship owner shall submit to the dolly through its regional office uh, on uh, regional office the report on the safety and health uh, organization and the ship owner work accident and illness uh, report that records the number of accidents, instances of the occupational disease, and the other hazardous occurrence uh, which, of which the ship owner is aware that have affected any seafarers, of course, of the empl uh, employment as the accidents occurs. So, that's all my all um, explanation about my answer about the task 1 and task 2 in the uh, NGEC 10. So, thank you.